welcome to this video. So far, we have read about arithmetic progression and its components. Today, in this video, we will learn to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression, that is, AP. We are given two categories here, where the first term of the first category is 3 and the common difference is also 3. And the first term in the second category is 26 and the common difference is minus 10. If we observe the first AP, the number of terms is fixed. Such an AP is called finite AP. And the second AP does not have the last term, that is, the number of terms is not fixed. Such an AP is called an infinite AP. Let us assume that A1, first term, A2, second term, A3, third term, A4, fourth term, one AP whose common difference is D. Here, first term A1 can be written as A plus 1 minus 1 multiplied by D. The second term A2 as A plus 2 minus 1 multiplied by D. The third term A3 as A plus 3 minus 1 multiplied by D. And the fourth term A4 can be written as A plus 4 minus 1 multiplied by D. Proceeding in the same order, we can express the nth term of A2 as A plus n minus 1 multiplied by D. It is the nth term of AP where A is the first term and D is the common difference. Here, AN is called the general term of an arithmetic progression. If there are m terms in the AP, then AM represents the last term, which is sometimes also denoted by L. Let's see an example. In a school ground, there are 35 students in the first row, 30 in the second row, 25 in the third row, etc. It has five students in the last row. How many rows of students are there in the school ground? Let the number of rows be n. Then, the first row, that is the first term A, equals 35, the common difference of the row D equals minus 5, and here, the last term, that is A n, equals 5. We have to find the number of rows of students. Therefore, we have to find the value of n. Can you tell me how will we do that? Well done! Looking at the pattern formed above, using the general form of AP, we can solve the problem and obtain the value of a n to be equal to 7. Hence, there are total of 7 rows of students in the school ground. Today in this video, we learn to find the nth term of an AP. In the next video, we will see some examples related to this concept.